call you to express my disappointment and preservation of the last uh, conduct of the 25th uh, February election, especially as it pertains to uh, the North. Um, you will agree with me, and it's uh, a known fact that INEC had announced that the election will start from 8 o'clock on that 25th. But unfortunately, in most parts of Abia North, and particularly Arochuku, we didn't receive materials earlier than we, we didn't start receiving materials until 3 p.m. I had to go to INEC personally and paid for more than 10 vehicles to help move uh, 12. about 12, to, uh, 12 vehicles to move material. Because when we went there, the place was in tumor, confusion, they were complaining of transport, you know. You could see an orchestrated attempt to frustrate that and manipulate that election. It was very evident and very clear. But just to see if we could do something, I had to literally release money for about 12 uh, resources. That was when material started leaving the, 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 the uh, leaving INEC uh, office, uh, and INEC uh, local government headquarters. This material didn't get to the um, RAs uh, or the ward earlier than 3, 4 a.m. to election, uh, 4 p.m. So election started about 4, 4, 30, uh, 4 30 p.m. People were already agitated, tired, weary. Some had left because you can't see you saw the level of mobilization we had because people were ready to make a change in how they are not because they were tired of still living in shame. So it was evident and very clear that they wanted to make a point. And I think these guys knew about it and decided to manipulate the whole process. So by 8 o'clock, the place was full. All the pulling units, men, women, old women, even not minding the scorching sun, the state. But, I mean, there is limit to everything. So when it was 2, and this information came that after 2 o'clock, the divas will shut itself automatically. So people began to... People left. But eventually when they came, still because of the tiredness and weariness of the whole thing, they, we, they stretched that election till 12 midnight. So because of that, there was confusion, there was pandemonium. In most of the places, they, they bypassed the beavers in collation. Like in Bend, the beavers was not put into collation. They did collation without reference to to beavers. And even in some, uh, some units in... Uh, and we kept complaining, but there was not to no avail. Then that, while that was on, we are complaining. We started getting information from other local, other local government at the collection center where there was no uploading of uh, results at the units at all. No, they didn't upload it. Or rather, when they moved to the local government, see people moving around from different places after manual collation. They started uh, transmitting. Or it was even after the local government announcement that they went different or the next day was when they started uploading, which is in in contravention of the of the electoral act and the and the INEC uh, guidelines. Why that as if that was not enough, um, elections in a uh, three wars in Ohafia did not take place because there were no materials. They didn't send no personnel, no materials. In Umboro, about four units, no personnel, no materials. It, that is, the wars I'm talking about is Okamu. Ward in Ohafia, uh, uh, which had 27 units. You had Isiama, which is the biggest ward even in Abia State, with 47, 48 <coughs> units. You have Aboji in Ohafia. Aboji had about 10, 11 units. Nothing happened there. Then you came to Arochu. My own ward was three. My own ward, about eight units. Yeah, were, there were no personnel, no um, material. Then you go to Oheke in Aban, which is also in our school local government. No election. In Eloha, Inu Tutu. Inu Tutu, you had about two, one or two units. In, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Eloha, one or yes. two units in Ndiobo, they didn't take materials there. And they confessed because they didn't have security to take materials there. So you see that these people were disenfranchised that were not allowed. So I never announced that the election was going to take place the next day. Both at the federal and the state. It was clearly announced, mentioning Arochuku, mentioning Ohafi, and some parts of the state. They say Sunday, Sunday we got ready. After a while, they came back and announced that the election was not going to hold anymore, that it was going to hold the next day, being Monday. 
Monday morning again, we came out, people were mobilized, sensitized for that election. Only to our chagrin, dismay, we had that result had been uh, announced. And how can they announce result? Where, where was the, which, which, uh, uh, which um, vote are you announcing at result? And we know that in that their south, same thing happened, I had, and the lady, the lady announced that because there was inconclusiveness of the election, the election is yet to, uh, they are yet to conclude the election, they were only collating, the result will not be announced. Same thing the man in Abia not told her, that he was only collating results, that the, 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 the result will be announced after the election. Only for us to hear election being announced. When, uh, 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 when, uh, when about 100, over 100 units, with more than 60 something thousand, thousand votes. So for me, I'm shocked and surprised, and I don't know what INEC is going to do. So for me, I'm rejecting that result completely. Not only in Arochuku or Hafia, where election did not start at all, but even the one, look at Mbende. They bypassed Beavers to announce result. For me, as a stickler to, to the rules, I thought, my belief is that with the advent of Beavers, that this reading would have been a a thing of the past. So I was walking on the ground. When people are, even I neck assured us that we should go home to sleep. So I invested as a grassroots politician to reach my people. I did, most of you join us in the campaign. You saw the acceptability. You saw what happened. So I didn't know that why we are busy campaigning. No wonder we didn't see these guys in the field. They were busy perfecting their plot on how to, to read this election. And this is the worst ever I have seen. And I don't know why a returning officer again should just announce it. And when they asked him, he said that he had instructions from uh, INEC, that INEC asked him to, the INEC officer asked him to write the result. When he had told us that he was only collecting those local government to wait until after the election. So for me, with uh, the information on Bifas bypass and not used in collection in most parts of uh, Abia North, I'm rejecting the result completely and asking that a new Ele uh, not just supplementary, that we should conduct completely new election in uh, Abia not. not. Well, because I think uh, this is a total disappointment and negation of the policy and the, and the, and the electoral act. And also the commitment I made gave to us that we should rest assured that this election will be free and fair. You know, but unfortunately, I can't see any fairness in what has happened in Abia not in particular. That's the reason of this question. Thank you.